Back to burn house lane. Burn house lane part two. Cat lady two. Two. Oh. Okay. Good. Thanks, Heist and Christmas. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I need to make a sandwich. It's a new day. And also the horse died. Ah! Cause I forgot to feed him. <laughs> Oops. I have a desert eagle. And I do have a bullet for it. Wait, where's Jenny? She's not here. Maybe she's downstairs. Also, why are we black and white? Make a sandwich for George. Wait, that's the basement. George? Wait, he's not even here. Hello? Where is everybody? Prepare meal. Is the sandwich gonna fucking teleport me again? There's no tuna? We're out of eggs? We're out of ham? We're out of cheese? Expired mayo, we have lettuce. No mustard. No tomato. No pickles. Jam. Cucumber. Bacon. Wait, start again. What do we have? Bake, sweet corn? Bread. Is this good? Well, what kind of- what, what can I make? Maybe just jam. I'll just make jam. Is it gonna turn to bodies again? Done. Made a jam sandwich. George. Probably in the yard. Oh, there's a leak. Or maybe that's just outside. Where is everybody? Oh, the whores. They're not here. Maybe the entrance? I think we might be tripping walls. Again. I didn't feed him a carrot a day. Um, no, that is that is that is the problem. Is that I didn't feed him a carrot a day because there were we skipped some days because we were tripping so much ball. We were balling too hard. Where is everybody? Let me check the front door. Thanks, Triscuits and Zeon and Hayes. Sheep pen? No. Fuck, where's everybody? Where? 
Did everybody go? Check the basement. Did they bury themselves in the basement? Open door. It's locked. Okay. They're in here. Whoa, where are you guys? It's not funny. This isn't funny. Come out now. Joke's over. You're dead. Where is everybody? Joe Scova. Wait, the water's running. Oh shit, he's in the shower with his clothes on. What are you doing? Oh, that's why he was flooding now. What are you doing? What are you doing, George? <laughs> Tell Steve that we're going tomorrow, will ya? We need him to get everything ready. Steve? Who the fuck is Steve? I didn't mean to look, but we found it by accident. It was just a matter of time. You know what he's like. Naive little fool. Who did she marry yet? We'll never know. What? Steve isn't here. It's me, Andrew. Hi. Have it your way. Sarah always listened to me. But you... I think he sorry. has dementia, yeah. Snap out of it, George. I know. I'm sorry. I tried. You're flooding the house. Oh, come on, you're flooding the house. Sorry, dear. I, I just... What am I supposed to think about this? I've been looking for Steve all day and it's like... What the fuck is Steve? Valid. Well, wherever he is. He's not going to be in this bath, is he? Out we go, George. They're in the kitchen. What? The pearls. They're in the kitchen where you left them. Remember? Oh, boy, I knew oh my god. I thought he was normal. Let's get you out of this bath, George. What? No, not yet. I'll drive. I told you. George. This is what happens when you You'll take old people this. away from their TV. Return and apologize. I won't have it any other way. Goodness gracious me. A common thing under my roof. What's it come to? Get George out. Right. I'm sorry. But I'm getting you out. Whether you want it or not. Dude, old people will be like, uh, uh. <laughs> The fire will warm you up soon enough. You'll be all right, yeah? But what was that all about, George? Well, I, uh, to be honest, I don't quite remember, dear. Huh. But since you're here, all we could do with a nice sandwich. You might have gotten soggy in the shower, if you don't mind. I've already made one. Except, we didn't have a lot of stuff left in the fridge, so it might be a little different. It's just a jam oh, sandwich. I'm sure it's not as bad as you say, dear. Here you go. Well, he seems nice. Maybe he's, he's lucid again. He's enjoying his sandwich. Makes okay. small talk. I'm quite alright now, thank you. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I'm quite I guess he was now. just having an old person moment. Thanks, hunger buns. Should I go get some groceries or something? It's Tuesday. I guess I'll go save. Where is everybody? And why is it black and white? Oh shit. What's going on now? It's alright. It's just me. Jenny? Where are you? Down here. I found something. What? I want to save. 
Oh, this is Steve. I guess Steve is his friend. From a long time ago. Let me save. <sighs> his, his roommate. And they were roommates during the war. Any? Wait, there's a door here? See? A secret door. <laughs> it was well hidden behind these shelves, but I had a feeling there was something special about this basement. Okay. What were you looking for here? And why? There's something here. What? Something that even George doesn't know about. Remember that fucking priest? He knew about it, and he wanted to find it too. The meth lab? <laughs> but the bastard was looking in the wrong fucking place. Um, did you try the other door? Did you try the other door here? The one at the end? Yeah, there's nothing there. But Just a little coal storage. No one's used to what? players. Oh. But we okay. went there. Why? And there was no stuff. I was just curious. Whoa. <laughs> Is it locked? Of course it's locked. Have you ever seen a door like this that wasn't? Looks like a regular steel door to me. Lock. Oh no, it's some fancy electronic device. I don't quite understand. I can shoot at it with a desert but eagle. I will figure it out. I'll get in there. Even if I blow this fucker up. Why are we black and white? Why do you care so much? Why do you care? Door? I just do. She wants the crack. Do you have a problem with that? Yes. Yes. You're a guest in this house. You should stop snooping around. And who are you to tell me what to do? Dude. Someone who saved your life? And She's leaving her crack. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm only telling you what not to do. I'd appreciate it if you didn't abuse the trust you've been given in this house. A guest in this house? Huh. So that's what it is. You're jealous because George treats me like I'm Audrey fucking Hepburn. And you're just a nurse. Here to wipe his floor when he can't hit the toilet on time. I'm his caretaker. But, sorry darling, you're just gonna I don't gonna wanna fuck him. <laughs> she just I wants crack. Him. Anytime soon. Cause I think she knows about the crack lab. I think you know exactly what's inside. And something tells me it isn't just a twelve-year-old pile of spuds. No, I'm it better not be. If it's farm, potatoes in there and it's I'm sealed bored. that tight. So I've tried to do a little detective work. Solve the mystery of a secret door. But who am I kidding? I know you wouldn't understand. And why is that? Oh, forget it. Because she no, wants crack. You're just not a lot of fun, are you? Oh. Tell me what happened right now. She's gonna, she's gonna say she wants crack. We already know that, but I mean, I guess I can do it again. This isn't you. Tell me what happened right now. I, uh, I think that that there are yeah. drugs on the other side of the door. Drugs? That perv from the church came here because he needed them. And now I do too. Sadly. I get it. Girl. You're addicted to drugs. The withdrawal symptoms are hitting you big time right now. That explains a lot. I just need one more. No. Time. It all makes sense. At the end of a great high, there's always a great low. Huh? <laughs> well, enjoy your door. <laughs> I'll talk to you when you're in a better mood. 
I'm in a great mood, Angie. It'll be even better when I finally open this fucking door. But I don't need your help with that. I'm sure you have better things to do. You're not you when you're like addicted to drugs. Changing George's diapers. Starving horses to death. Or maybe sucking that fat retard's dick. Hey! Uh, Kieran's like not that, an R word. But <laughs> whatever. He's cool. I don't care what you do. He takes Just care don't of animals. come crying on my shoulder when you need a friend. I don't need losers like you to weigh me down. Okay, dude. What happened to her? She's just going through drug withdrawal. And she's mad she's got no drugs. I'm going in the fucking basement. Bye. What's this? Honey box. Open. It's locked tight. No, she does- I'm pretty sure she did drugs even before the priest. Wait, do I have a key? I don't have a key. Um... Okay, I gotta go find a key for it. Oh wait, it closed. Oh shit. Help! Help! Oh, here! One pound. Skip the fair. Don't breathe the sea air. A padded door in the psych ward. What is this? Uh, excuse me. Open? Oh, there's no doorknob? Ceiling collapsed. Enter. No L. Last time y'all chat was mad at you. Well, it sounds like you're a little pussy bitch, so you should probably stop typing altogether. I'm on a. Cr Is it? It told me to not breathe the sea air. Am I breathing right now? What's that? A mannequin? Hello? Where are you? Hmm. This air tastes spicy. Try this. What the fuck is this? Oh wait! Oh fuck. Do the stanky leg. Can't move. Uh oh. What is that? What the fuck? These aren't wax! These are people! Oh, I know. They have mannequins, though. Hello? Shit. What now? Hello? <laughs> Hello? No. Hello? Oh. Who's that? He speaks. <sighs> the name's Murphy. I'm the one in the hat. Can you see me? Wax figure level. What the hell's happened to me? Well, what do you think happened? I don't know. I got frozen. You saw the warning signs and you ignored them. Oh, to not breathe the air? Just like me. Signs? What sign? Did you freeze? Don't breathe the sea air. Does that ring any bells? But there's no point arguing about it. Should we just We're stand here for the rest of eternity? 
What's wrong with the air? You fill your lungs with that shit. And it freezes all your motor functions for as long as it's circling in your system. Should I wear a mask? It's also painful as hell. Not at first, but mark my words. You'll feel it too. Okay. How did you end up on Burnhouse Lane? Oh, darling, the things I'd done, it was all just a matter of time. I came to Burnhouse Lane to pay for the lifetime of overindulgence. But the price... Well, the price has exceeded my expectations. And you? What's a fine young lass like yourself doing on Burnhouse Lane? I got lost trying to look for the bathroom. I smoke. I smoke like a chimney. Ah, cigarettes. A dirty habit, but I don't judge. Is smoking a sin? I've had my share of bad habits myself. I know the bittersweet taste of addiction all too well. Mm. He's the man with no face. How should I know? He didn't tell me his name. I don't think he can speak at all. All I know is that he brings people here once they're paralyzed. Then he coats them in hot wax so he can turn them into statues dressed as crew and passengers of this fucking ship. He's left for now. Oh, so they are real people under the wax. Yes, you guessed it. He's getting a bath of molten wax nice and ready for you, cause darling... That means all these wax figures are people. From head to toe. Those are some oh, big tits. Uh, it's best that, well, you prepare for it. Mentally. No. No. Oh yes. Yes indeed. I'm already half dead inside my wax shell, darling. Just waiting for the suffering to end. Oh, thanks to that... What would you even call him? Um... Potato Man. I'd call him Potato Man. What? Why? Because his face looks like a big potato. Does it? I wasn't even aware that he had a face. But sure, we can call him that. <laughs> How long have you been here, Murphy? I don't know. The day and night cycle doesn't exist aboard this ship, but it feels like- Not having a concept of time seems like hell. Are you hey, storm bang? all these scriptures have dead bodies inside them? Oh yes, and all the ones up on the main deck too. So he's like a Warhammer figurine Top collector. Like old, hollow, rotten inside, barely holding together. Can't you tell by the stench of death? Your potato man has been quite a busy bee. And the worst part is... I know. The worst part is... We'll soon join them. At least the pain will stop. It stops when you're dead. Right? <laughs> well, I'm not gonna die like this. Give me a moment to think. I admire your willpower, darling. But I've tried everything. We are gonna die here. Try it. How are you gonna no, move at I all? I should have never set my foot aboard this ship in the first place. But you know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. Our cat died. The cat! That's it. I should try cat power. But the cat's dead. Gather thoughts. No way I'm gonna let the potato man do. Use cat power! Milla. Milla. Wait, is this his cat that died? What does this mean? Fuck me. You're seeing this too, lady? Ooh! Oh yeah, we could animate corpse. Look at yourself. It looks like death. No. Oh, this is the other cat. The animate corpse cat. E. Oh. 
Why would I do that? Maybe when the potato man comes here. Going someone else? Can we jump on each other? Oh, wait, I thought he had a pee pee. Okay. That I can't reach it. Wait, am I supposed to do something? What if I kill the other person? Oh, he dies? Really? Where? Oh, he didn't do anything. That's his hand. Yeah. Look at the kitty! I thought his hand was his cock. What am I supposed to do about that? Nothing here? Can't reach it? Hole. What? Why can't you climb on each other? Thanks, Santi. Am I missing, like, something? Whoa. There's nothing to interact with. Even go back. No, nobody knows. These don't work. I can go up here? That's as far as I can go. Wait, what? Why 
Why doesn't it work? Devs. Had to be exactly there. Go back. Maybe she's still alive. Oh, there's a corpse in there. It's not quite done, I guess. Can you climb? Put the mask on her? Here you go. How convenient this guy had a mask. <laughs> well done, lady. You did it. This poisonous air won't trouble you now. But before you leave this dreadful ship, and I really hope you do. But you do me a little favor first. Yes? Thank you. Turn something big and sharp and smash me to pieces. Oh, so we don't leave him. You? Are you mad? Why so he gets put out me? of his misery, you stupid fuck. I'm in so much pain. I just want the suffering to stop. Hey, I've been here for so long. I'll... Welcome, death with open arms. She's so uh, dumb, for real, for I'll... real. Smash! Pick up a doorknob. Pick up a shard of glass. Pick up- wait. Will a shard of glass work? No. What's this? Look closer. Examine. The bowl is empty. Okay. What's this? Small vent. Too big to fit inside. Well, if only we had the kitty. Maybe it's still alive. Who knows? These are all people. Frozen forever. What does this do? It's a large metal bell. Turning both valves fully. Steam pressure. Why would I do? Whoa, what is that? Big pile of meat. Can I cut it? Big pile of meat here. What's that? Examine. Some kind of creature. What is that? A fleshy blob. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Climb. Okay. So 
what is the steam? Where does the steam pressure even come out? Should figure that out later. Wait, maybe I put the blob in here. Uh oh, okay. I see you found your little one. I found something. A creature. But a I sandwich. don't know what it is. Put it down somewhere, will you? We'll take a closer look. Sure, I'll put it in the bowl. What the fuck? He's a good little boy, isn't it? What is that? What? Is that my child? Good is that my God. abortion? Just look at him. He's almost starved to death. Things be fault. He belongs to you now. I don't want it. Feed him? With what? My blood? Just give him part of yourself. That's what mothers do. New Horus! I mean, okay. Cut your- will you cut your hand with glass? Yes. Why would you do it across the palm? Hello? Just look at him run! Look at him go! Oh, he can go through the vents. Ooh! A wrench. Give me that. That's my child. Interesting. Wrench it? No. Can I Son? Ooh. It's Turn it even more. I don't know. Valve broke. Again. I don't know what this- uh, We're gonna blow something up, I guess. Oh sh- Oh, it's stuck! Hey, I- oh. Yeah, that's totally what I meant to do. Examine. Old TV. Kick. Look at all this spaghetti. I'm making a ruckus. He has my eyes. Oh, Potato Man feels mad when he finds TV smashed on the floor. Electrocute wall of meat. What if it comes alive? Oh, it melted. Give me this. Okay, now I can go kill the captain. Oh, it probably smells like barbecue. Tasty. Smell like chimkin. Hello. This is it. That axe. Hit me. Shatter me into pieces. Okay. It is time for my agony to end. Sure. Yes, and again! It's time for the final blow! Bye. Oh, there's my son! Go feed on him! Look at him go! Murphy? <laughs> he just ate Murphy's head. Hello, child. Actually, I think it kind of likes me. Aww! That is cute! Can I smash everybody? No. What if they're still alive in there? I guess they're not, because they're not talking. Wait! Maybe I can put him through the vent!
He has my eyes. Here you go. Go, Murphy. Yes. Go, Murphy, go. Actually, I'm going to name him Billy. Thanks, Billy. Billy, come back. No, where are you going? Come back. Or you could go do your own things, I guess. Is that him I hear? No, that's just a random guy. What the? Wait, we sailed? This ship is huge. It's on the edge of, edge of it. He left for college already. They grow up so fast. Goodbye, Billy. Don't forget to call every once in a while. The air is different. All those fans must have cleared it. It's safe to take off the mask. I would never take that off. What? Oh, she can smoke here. Put the mask back on, yeah. I think she'll do it herself? Okay. Whoa. Dead people, the. Looks like it's a party to die for. What the? No! I hit him! What the hell? Well, I have ammo. Wait, I can just use that. Wait, but I don't want to use it! Make it count. I don't want to use it right now. Because I have an axe. What?! Okay, he's definitely coming back. I don't want to use that shot, because cause right now I have an axe, so maybe I should use it when I don't have a weapon. He's totally coming back. Oh my fucking god, dude. <laughs> if I use a shot, I probably- Oh! Oh, he was oh, he's embarrassed. He's just, he's, I, 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 I humiliated him. Kill a Dragonite? I will. Kill all the Dragonites in the world. Thanks, damn dude. People are all dead. I somehow don't think they would just let me leave. There's no way. There's no way. Really? I can just leave? Okay, I'm out of here. Bye. Really?
Okay. Really? What about my son? Well, he already left for college. He already left the nest, so... Try this door. What's in here? Are there alive people? No. They're all dead. I can only possess fresh corpses. Fresh pussy corpse. Are you guys frozen too? <laughs> my name is Rob. Remember Rob. Examine. Say Mila. Oh, I can't hear. Oh, they have to hear me. What's that? Wait, Rob. Don't wait. Wasn't there a guy named Rob? Was that the priest? Who was- there was a guy named Rob. Oh, it was the Nugget. Wait, no! Nugget Man was Ben. No, it wasn't. Yeah, what the hell? Wait! What the fuck? Karen? Fuck? Kieran, I mean, not Karen. Who's this? Who's that? Kieran. Hello? They're just wax figures. Mila. Mila. Ooh. Now we can possess anybody. You. I swear someone mentioned Rob at one point. Thanks, Admiral and Fish Brains and Two Dog. Dog. Switch on. What is this to? Nothing. There's no power. Shit. Electroconvulsive therapy. Oh, they just. They, oh, yeah. They would just shock the shit out of you. They're like, why are you. Are you cured? Hello? Are you cured? Hello? I have to turn the power on. Um, maybe this. One of the fuses is blown. Read. The wild ECT, the system can't handle this much now. Ask him to give you another spare. There's a spare in his coat. Let me check. I hope the potato man doesn't bother me. I'm doing things. I don't got time for spud. There's a fuse in his pocket. I'll take that. Wow, the attention to detail in this wax museum is great. Good job, potato man. He's an artiste. Je suis an artiste. Oui, oui. And Mila. Mila. There's a bunch of sperm blowing out of the machine at hyper speeds. What is that? Are we gonna Oh we can't. Okay. Bye. Now I have a way up, in case I fall. Okay. Well, 
walls. Oh, there's a guy on the walls over there. Press. Hello. Sorry to see you hanging out by yourself, man. Who goes there? Identify yourself right now. Or, or I shall obliterate you. E. They are real, really? Look at here. Oh, you could be him in disguise, sneaking up on me. What's your name? Rob. I swear I'm gonna shoot you right in your ugly face if you don't tell me who you are. Go on. I just want to know your name. Tell. Who goes there? Identify your. Should I go talk to him? Did he move? No. Kieran. What? How the fuck am I supposed to identify myself? Mm. Oh, my name is Rob. My name is Rob. Rob? Yeah, I remember you, Rob. You crooked. It is the priest. priest. You old perv. You stole my shotty, you bloody bastard. Uh. Well, eat shit, motherfucker. <laughs> so I guess that's what became a Rob. He got, they got, he got tortured in a cell in the in in, in purgatory. No. It's a noose around his neck. He's missing a lever. What the f Examine. It's a saw blade. A lever? Can I take the lever off it? Missing a lever. That's also missing a lever. Oh, what's this? Pick up. Could use that. Pull lever. What did that do? Looking stylish, though. You. <laughs> I need a second lever. What if I could pass a wrench and use that? Pull, remove pipe. Try, I want to see what this does. Wait, maybe I could cut it in half. Cut the pipe in half. Yar! Turn on. There we go. We do a little arts and crafts. Don't waste the power now. Okay, 
you. Dun, dun. Me after partying and then coming home at 3 a.m. and trying to make sh trying my parents to can't tell that I'm drunk and high because I was at this banging party because I'm so party right now. Oh my, it was crazy. It was like so lit, dude. so lit. Travis Scott was there. Crazy. I had two cups of milk. Mm -hmm. I was faded as hell. Hello? Faded than hell. 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 Um, I can't move. Oh. Faded than hell. 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 I want chalky milk. Ooh. Well, well, well. Oh. Just look who's here. Janae. Oh. oh. Did you finally decide to get help? In this stinking place? No. She's going I through her. Better. Yeah. Right. Because you're rich and famous. You have no idea what it's like. So just fuck off. What the? Can we be friends again? I don't want to fight with you, Jenny. Can we be friends What is again? she? She was about that. Having withdrawals from a no, drug. Angie, I'm so she was being really nasty. Not really a good friend. She was material. just tweaking. I never said I was. I'm just pissed at the whole world right now, and you're part of it. So I'm sure she's going through yeah, it. I just want to be left alone. Okay. You're suffering from withdrawal symptoms. That's why you've been such a dick. Oh, yeah? Your constant smoking reminds me of how I used to do it. So, thanks for giving me nicotine cravings. Thanks a bunch. Just don't There's do There's nothing drugs. like a secondhand smoke when you're trying your hardest not to think about it. Vape! That shit tastes like con candy. Now. Sorry, that was my stomach. Janae, there's bodies everywhere. Again, I'm glad I'm not addicted to any substances, cause I do get really addicted to 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 stuff. But by stuff, I mean it's just games. I'll go on like a video game bender if it's something I'm really addicted to, and I'll just play for like 16 hours. Uh, do math? No, I can do cocaine, because I'm rich. You should do math, because you can't afford to do cocaine. Not that you should do math. Or cocaine. But you only, you only do math if you can't afford cocaine. I don't have a flashlight. You know that? You're a monster. Oh fuck. Oh shit, I fucked around. Oh god. There's a <laughs> I have to break the barricade. You're a monster. No, you're a monster. I'm gonna 
gonna stab you. I'm gonna stab you. Ah! Oh. Dash through the. Damn, they're really switching it up. Tried to pull a fast one on me. Shotgun. Come here, bitch. Oh, fuck. Um. I. I thought if she was on my screen, it would be fine. Holy, I have to do it again. God damn it. I thought if she was on my screen, it would be forgiving enough to give it to me. But obviously fucking not. What the hell? God damn it, dude. You have to take out the trash in Ohio. <laughs> That's scary. I feel for people living in Ohio. When you go out for a smoke in Ohio- The Potato Man! He's back. He's so tanky. Fuck that. That was gonna take forever. Oh shit. Seriously, I have to kill him? What the fuck? Is this a Dark Souls boss? Is there ammo? I don't have ammo. I didn't even one shot him. What? Oh, 
Oh, he grew a face. Did I just waste my shot? Why is he bringing me over here? Oh. Oh, DVD! I wasted my shot! What the fuck? I don't want to do all that chasing thing again. Mila. Is there a corpse somewhere here? Oh, right here. Oh, Billy! Oh shit! <laughs> Let's fucking go! I wasted my shot! Oh, he's fucking out of here again. My shot! Chase him down! Spawning ants. Excuse me. Come here. No, I caught up to him, but I can't use it because he, she stands still. To Billy. Oh, E. Oh. I hope Billy's still alive. <laughs> Yo, I need uh, assistance. You guys have dead hard? You guys have dead hard? Who the fuck is that? Jesus? Messiah, any percent speedrun? Jane. Oh, her oh husband. No. You're alive. You're safe now. Take a deep breath, Hanji. Borrowed time. The worst is over. At least for now. How did you get here? How did you get here? I'm... I, I'm not really sure. I've been away, wandering the empty streets of a city I didn't know. I was cold. And lost. But then I found something, and I instantly knew that it belongs to you. Please tell me it's my bullet I, back. I had to give it to you. Give me my bullet back. What is it? I'll take you to it in a minute. It's a reminder that sometimes not everything's fully lost. Are you really here? I think so, but. I feel like we don't have a lot of time. I'd Why like he's to bald? Because he had cancer. Hold you in my he died from cancer. He had chemo. Time. Just in case we wake up and find it was all. She just fell in love with her, pati her patient, which is him. Give James a hug. Aww. You can refuse? That's fucked. I've missed you, Angie. Those two years we had together. They only spent two years together before he died. The best years of my life. That hook should have killed me. And yet, I'm standing here talking to you and I feel no pain. How is that even possible? I'd say, even in the worst nightmare, you get to have that one time the luck's on your fucking side. Don't you think you deserve that? I killed the potato man. <laughs> I thought you'd never die. 
But I outsmarted him. Feels good. Feels good, man. I'm scared, James. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I used to pretend I was strong. I tried to be there for you, to support you. But when you died, it felt like I died with you. Nothing mattered to me. I was a broken fucking shell. I'm sorry. I didn't want that. Did you know I got sick with cancer too? Imagine you getting double cancer. Yeah. I'm dying. Unlucky. And I can't even blame anyone. Because I did this all to myself by smoking all those fucking cigarettes. I tried to end my life too. Didn't he say we're in a hurry? That's just... Fuck's sake, Angie. Why? Why would you do that? I was so confused. But it didn't work, okay? So for now I'm just hanging around. Wait. Don't smoke. Do math. Waiting. Just kidding. Yeah. Don't do math. I remember that. Just waiting and waiting and waiting. Remember how happy we used to be? I didn't think it was possible to fall for someone like that. Like, in the movies. A lonely young nurse meeting a handsome stranger. Who also happened to be her patient. We didn't care about any of that. I wish we could say the same about your matron. Yeah. But she was just jealous. What's a matron? She probably wanted you for herself. Oh, I looked like a fucking rock star back then, but... A dying man isn't exactly the best Mother? husband material. Her Even boss. for your matron. You were in remission. We thought... Well, shit happens, don't it? Yeah. Do you ever regret... It's kind of unethical yet. Any of this? I think that's like the point. Getting involved with me? On the level we did. Just to get your heart broken? Didn't they yeah, fuck on the hospital bed? The question is that. On the gur yard? I'm not even gonna answer that. Or the gun the gun yard? You What's know, it called? The um There was something about you I could not resist. The 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 the, the gur like yard? Kissing the gar yard? You know it's a terrible idea, but you do it. The gurney! Now. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, that. But only because I love vampires. <laughs> I know you do. Shit. I wish I was a vampire now. <laughs> yeah. So do I. The gritty? Vampires don't get cancer. Really? I don't want to die. I don't want to die. James, I'm not ready for it. I found Burnhouse Lane and discovered its secrets. I can see. Yeah, I thought they don't have much time. Come on. There's a cure. I've almost got it, but sometimes, deep down, I start thinking, and it feels like I've been sent on a fool's errand. All this stuff can't be real. How could it? It's fucking ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. You've said you've almost got it. It would be crazy. I mean, it's not like she has anything now. better going on in her life. Might as well. And what if I lose? Might as well do a magic hat's then bidding. Don't worry about Plan B. But right now. It's time. We must go. You know? Close your eyes and count to five. One. I've got a little surprise. Two. Wait, right, right, right now? One, three? Something that'll put a big smile on your face. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. 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 Turn around. You were dead. Come on, Angie. Do I really yes! have to remind you how many lives? That's the cat that looks that has the raccoon tail. I knew I had to bring him back to you as soon as I saw him. 
A friend you lost. That raccoon emo looks like a yawn. <laughs> reborn. It has yawn like face. The dark. All we need to do is follow him and stay inside his light. Or else the darkness will take the, us. He has the, the, yeah, it has yawn vibes. Rack attack. Okay. You should know that I'm friends with darkness nowadays. Really? Really? I'm a big girl. Doesn't scare me anymore. The darkness I'm talking about isn't just the absence of light, Angie. What if I ran ahead? It's a state of mind. Exactly. And she's my friend. I call her Brenda. Yeah, well, stay close then. We will make Brenda very, very angry. Here's Tony Caps. Walking bigger feet. If you, oh my God, you're are you really stuck wearing the drip you're wearing the moment you died in the afterlife or purgatory? Holy shit! That's why you gotta stay fresh all the time. Imagine slipping in the shower and dying. James. James? Bye-bye. No. Goodbye, my love. Bye-bye. Jump. noises Who are these people <sighs> this person has their opens inside opens they are going so fast kitty seen you in a while. Furry cat. With no fur. Mm, what? Oh. My apologies. I was waiting for you and I dozed off, I guess. You did take a long time getting here. Why in, didn't you just fair. teleport me like the last six times? I didn't realize I was on a timer. It was hard enough getting here. Getting here in one piece, anyway. Things in spirit and You've come a long way, haven't you? Yeah. I honestly thought you'd give up by now. But you are a persistent one. Four uh, tasks completed. What wait, can I say? What was the fourth one? Impressive. But you're not quite done yet. Mm. Mary? I thought Thanks. Mary was third. It's time for the final task. Are you ready for it? Thanks, Alex BQ. No. Potato but Man? Give it to me. Well, I don't remember them saying anything about then Potato Man. Carefully. I guess it was. You must tell someone the whole truth about yourself. The good and the bad. Oh. And all the dirt. Should we tell Jenny? Like you would to a best friend. We don't if have a best friend. You had one. Maybe we tell Kieran. But you can't hide anything. It won't work if you do. Why? What's the point of this? You must rid yourself of all this baggage. You people hold on to it for way too long. Tell George? No, George is senile as fuck. Oh, I can't talk to Kieran? <laughs> I'd really rather face another serial killer. You don't mean that. I just feel no connection to any of those fools. How can I open my heart to them? 
They don't give a flying fuck about me. That's not They're true. They're all flawed, that's for sure. Kieran's kind just, of our uh, friend. We gave him a cupcake. Human thing, And Donner. You're all broken inside. Always looking for another war to wage. Try to let go of that for a moment. I'm sure that if you take a good look around, you can find someone who'll lend a friendly ear. I gave him... Well... Please I respond, do, I gave you my donner I kebab. I everything. You'll know because once it's done, a man called Mr. Fox will arrive at the farm. Let him in. He'll be so hungry he could eat a horse. Offer him food, but never speak How can to I him. offer him food if I don't speak do to him? Do you understand? You cannot say even a single word to Mr. Fox or, well, just don't. He's very peculiar about it. Baby Shofi, I gave you my donor kebab. Fine, I'll try Shofi, to give you Shofi, baby, shot. I gave you kebab, donor. Fed, he will go, and you will follow him to a place on the moors. Okay. He'll show you a spot where you must dig a hole and recover a treasure buried underground. With that in your possession, you will finally be able to remove the illness from your body. League? Oh. He will also require a drop of your blood, so... Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, I got it. I think. Good. Go back now, get some rest. You're gonna need it. Who's our, who's my oh, George? Richard. Oh, that, <laughs> shit. George is the old man. Richard's the Come horse. On. Hop on his back. He won't bite. Fuck, he hates me. He's here to take you home. Oh, I'm sorry. I only fed you one carrot every three days. <laughs> he died of starvation. Peter, the horse is here. Jenny, she's like going, she's tweaking, so I don't know if she's uh, going to be receptive. Wait, we haven't seen Arno since we saved him. Oh, horsey. Nobody expected that, Mr. Fox. Damn, she's good. Damn right. Is that the church in the background that I went to? I think it is. New objective added. Make a confession. What's this? Dear Angie, I did some shopping while you're gone. Kieran told me you had some business to take care of Honiton, which is fine. You may find some of the food in there, but I'm sure George will love it. I couldn't wait for your turn. I was in a hurry, but I trust all well. George is happy and well looked after. I'm very grateful. Take care and see you soon, Sarah. What day is it today? Friday the 13th. Oh, shit. Examine. Is the frozen lamb meat? Make a confession? Right now? But everybody's sleeping.
I'm gonna save. Should I talk to Jenny? She says she's not a good friend. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot he's bad. What? Asshole. I was an asshole. Yeah, I heard you. I just wanted you to say it again. I was wrong. And I'm sorry. Please forgive me. What? Forgive me. I forgive you. It's all right, Kieran. I, I mean, he's you. right. <laughs> I did forget to Sometimes feed the horse. Say things we don't mean. Hey, she'll be gone for days. Really loved that horse, didn't you? I did, as a matter of fact. But this here is Richard's week. Join us. Let's drink in his memory. I don't think so, Kieran. Come on, nurse. Red or white? Or do you prefer beer? I'm not a big drinker. Besides, I need a clear head for now. Then take a ball with you for later. Go on, it's on me. We should ask George to party. Jenny, we need to talk. What? Speak up, girl. I can't hear you. We need to talk. What party? <laughs> it's just you and Kieran. Come on, you'll be back before you know it. I guess, but... <gasps> hey, do you have any cigarettes? I'd really like to smell one. I mean, if she... Should I give her one? Don't? No. No, I don't. But... Come on! You always smoke like a chimney. I know you have them. I'll just have one. What's the big deal? No! I don't want you to start smoking again. Oh, for God's Oh no, she's gonna get cancer just like us. Can you just chill the fuck out? One cigarette is all it takes. Before you know it, you'll be back smoking a pack every day. A pack? That's a lot. But guess what? You're not my fucking mother. Yes, I am. So stop being so fucking patronizing, will you? No. I'm not giving you a cigarette, Jenny. Oh, oh fine. Jesus. A I'll pack a day. Holy. Well, thanks for being a total asshole. Again. I literally I have lung cancer. Instead of fighting. What? Can we go outside and talk? Thanks for Nicholas oh, and Dixie, party. man. Real a party pooper, you know? Is this happy old party oh, that you just... just wait for me behind the barn? You know, where Robert died. Richard! What? The horse's name was Richard. Ah, oh, yeah, whatever. Uh, just wait for me by the barn. I'll be there in a minute. Immediately goes to smoke. Wait, I want to see if she opened it. Oh, she didn't get her drugs. So maybe it's good that we don't let her relapse. Oh. You alright, George? Oh, I'm fine, dear. You? Yeah. Should I tell George? I just talked to Jenny, though.
What about Jenny? Wait for Jenny. I saved. I can go back. He'll forget. <laughs> Oh, she actually came. Well, guess what I found? Or wait, I'll give you a clue. It's about this long, it's known to cause heart and lung diseases, and it usually comes in a pack of 20. Look, I just didn't want you to get back but to- But I'm going family. for the drama. Especially now that you've been drinking. You're literally doing it all the time yourself. Oh, so please don't That's be That's because I have hurt. cancer. How do I drop that ball? whether you like it or not. I have cancer. How do I tell her I have cancer? I have cancer. I have oh. cancer. This is heaven. I have cancer. I have oh. cancer. I Why have did cancer. I, I have cancer. I have cancer. Jenny, there's something I want to talk to you about. I'm cancer. I'm dying of cancer. And I don't have much time left. What? No, you're fucking kidding me. What sort of person would joke about something like this? I don't know, but you look perfectly fine to me. For now. I don't believe you. My pap had cancer, and he looks like Uncle Fester. You know, from the Adams family. And he puked a lot. That's because you probably had chemo. I'm not doing it. It's too late. And I've seen what it does to people. I don't want to die stuck in a hospital bed. I know a good doctor in LA. I'll give you his number when I get back home. Okay. You don't understand? <laughs> Can we also killed. get our nails and lashes, Not dude? Not the doctors, anyway. I'm not sure if I fed Richard the way I was meant to. Wait, wait, wait. Who is Richard again? <laughs> the, horse. the horse? Oh. You wanna get I'm BBLs right. together? Oh, sorry. Too much wine makes me forget stuff. By the way, I'm trying to get Kieran drunk so he would tell me more about the bunker door in the basement. He's lived on this farm for a long ass time, right? He's gotta know something. I, he probably doesn't know. Another He's few too drinks dumb. and he'll spill it all to me like a good little girl. I want to live, but I don't even know how to anymore. I can feel the doom clock ticking above my head and it's driving me insane. I should make a bucket list, like other people do, to live while I still can. Do cool, crazy stuff, like bungee jumping, or swimming with fucking dolphins. But instead, here I am, unable to accept what's coming, desperately trying to cheat death. But no one has that kind of power. Least of all me. Hey! I swam with dolphins in the Bahamas last year. Wh what? Uh-huh. Did you know? The dolphins don't really smile. I mean, <laughs> they look like they do. But they don't. It's just the shape of their face. Okay. Do you even listen to what I'm trying to say? I'm doing my best. But... I don't really understand why you've decided to tell me your entire life story all of a sudden. Is this because we're mad at each other? Tomorrow or something? No. Why not? Because I'm fucking dying. We're all dying. <laughs> but we're not dead yet, are we? By the way, when dolphins die, imagine this. Where is the they where is Arno anyways? Smile. Mmm. That's great, Jenny. That's great. I don't really have any <laughs> here, we, here we go. I mean, I have colleagues from work. Well, mostly just Tracy, because... She should start a blog. Working for the agency, I travel a lot. She should go to Reddit and, and find an obscure community. The, country. the pay is good, but... You don't really get enough time to bond with anyone. This job here she is... She could be a Tumblr good. girl. I don't usually spend that long in one place. Angie? Why are you telling me this? I just... need a friend, I guess. A real one. Someone like you? Really? 
but I don't think it will be you. Someone like you! What do I say? I mean, she's a terrible friend. But I don't think it will be you. Excuse me? We're similar age. We both saved each other from danger. It would make perfect sense for us to be friends. But I'm really not feeling it. You're obnoxious. Selfish. Vain. And you're rude. Completely unbearable. You're annoying. You think the whole world should be at your feet because you're famous. But guess what? She's actually not. I, and I, I mean, she, she said, before she started sentence. tweaking, she was actually really nice. Drugs. And now you're trying to kill your rose cravings with alcohol. She literally it's came all the way to save me. us. But I won't judge you. I just... I just wish you could come down from your throne for a moment and speak to me like we're equals. Because fuck. I could really use a friendly soul right now. Yeah. You're right. Whatever this is, it's not working. That was a bit you much, though. You got me all figured out, but you don't know shit, and it's fine. I don't give a damn about this place, and I don't give a damn about you and your fucking cancer. Okay, maybe I chose the wrong. Ah! <laughs> maybe I should have picked the other one. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if you made it all up. Just to get some attention. Was I supposed to say the other one? I'm reloading. Wait, maybe I'll talk to George. Hi, George. Oh, she doesn't want to. You all right, George? Oh, I'm fine, dear. You? Yeah. I can't. It has to be Jenny! I think it might be because throughout the game I didn't get enough friendship points with all of them. Though I thought it might have worked with Kieran because I gave him a donor. I gave him a donor and a cupcake. Are you telling me that's not enough? I only made one bread sandwich for George. Or maybe it's because I already picked Jenny. I gave him a freaking donner! I'm dying of- I've seen what I don't I need this Yeah, I don't even give Brandon donors. I'm not but yes. I want to I can I should do or but here Least I uh, the I think she just wait, what if I just said right, good to know. Wait, well I wanna see I'm but can I no what what if I said a friend like you? I wonder what she would say about that. Bye. I don't really have any friends. And what? The I showed you my and donor. What? Or someone like you. Now what? Me. <laughs> Angie, are you blind? Yeah. You really think I'm a good friend material for anyone, let alone someone like you? No, Look but she's so useless that you could probably tell her stuff star. and it like doesn't matter. I got to the top by sleeping with every man that wanted me and by destroying every woman that stood in my way. 
It's in my job description to act like a spoiled fucking bitch. To demand. To take anything I want. And I have no time or desire to be anyone's friend because I know that in the end, I'll have to stab them right in the back. I always. I mean, it. isn't that great for Angie though? I know there's a part of you that cares. Because Angie just does you like random shit. Who you cares? Like life. we tell her shit, it doesn't even fucking I matter to her. This isn't the real you. Then what do you know about the real me? You're a drug addict, Jenny. And if you wanted to, you could get help, and you could get better. Yeah, can bad backstab. What? She does it anyways. That'll teach you to mind your own fucking business. Oh, and by the way, I think you made it all up. Is it because of what you I did really throughout the game that wasn't enough, and I didn't pass the you speech just check? To feel sorry for you, and that's fucking pathetic, you know. Not enough plus smiley face. Failed the vibe check. Not- I should- The Donner! What about the Donner? Nobody buried Richard, no. Oh, what in God's name happened to you? Wait, maybe now I can tell George. Jenny pushed me in a puddle. I fell in the puddle. I fell in a puddle. Oh, well, unlucky. But that's not all, is it? There's something else bothering you. Oh, you can tell. Uh, you know, it's just Jenny my... pushed me. You won't fall <laughs> me that easily, dear. I might be old, but I'm not blind. I'll tell There's George. It's time to open this big bag of worries. You've been carrying it around for weeks. All right. I'll tell you. There's a disgusting, ugly cancer growing inside my chest. It's here to kill me. And there's nothing I can do to stop it. I probably shouldn't even be here, but I'd convince myself that I should do this one last job. I thought this would pay for the trip my late husband always dreamed of. Japan. It always seemed so... cool. But now that I think about it, it's not even my dream. Do I really want to go there? Or am I desperately trying to run away from people saying they're sorry and the way they look at me? To hide and pretend that I'm still fine and nothing's happened. And yes, I was married. It felt real. It was real. He's gonna think I'm Steve again. He <laughs> already, already fell asleep. We both knew our time was short. And no matter how loved he made me feel, I accepted we wouldn't live happily forever after. And yet, it still surprised me. How quickly it all happened. Suddenly, I was alone. But I promised James that I would be strong. And I was determined to keep that promise no matter what. I made an effort to get dressed every morning, to eat, to go to work, knowing that in time, the pain would become easier to bear. And then this happened. Sorry. First, the cough. Then the chest pains. And blood on the tissue. I couldn't believe the same fucking thing was happening to me. I lost a husband, but I wasn't ready to lose my life. I mean, I promised him I'd live on. But they called me in. <laughs> should have they given him bread what I already knew. I remember they all looked down at their shoes whenever they mentioned the word cancer. That fucking cancer. Was it because I smoked more since James had died? But I would be such a good doctor. Tell I'd be I'd be like, yeah, your son has stage four cancer. Uh, you can book so an appointment with my and receptionist it for next still week. Decided it wasn't I have a new meeting. Bye. So I came back for what's left. What did I do to be punished like this? Why me? It's not fucking fair. So no. that'll be a million dollars. 
I know how this ends. I get nowhere. My whole life was fucking pointless. I achieved nothing, and those few people that know me will soon forget I ever existed. And on top of it, I'm probably losing my mind, because I've seen things. A talking cat from a burned house. Different worlds. Disfigured creatures. But that's probably just my cancer spreading into my brain, because I'm sure it was all in my head. George. I'm just tired. I'm scared. And now I'm covered in mud, and I don't even have any clean clothes to put on. And I... Aww, Georgie. He fell asleep for sure. Thanks to Kimu and Bang Chang with me. Thanks Pseudo Square for the five meals. Thank you, George. I... I needed to let it all out, I guess. And now you also need a nice cup of tea. I'll make you one. But first, let's get you a change of clothes. I'm alright. These will dry uh, soon. No, no. You should take one of the jumpers from the line. And there's a pair of jeans there that looks about your size, too. It's chapter no, six. I can't. I insist. They're Sarah's old clothes. She ain't worn them in years. Nah, they're too small for her anyway. Moy was thinking I'd give them to a charity shop in Honiton. But this is even better. And it'll save us a trip in a town. Yeah? Of course. Go on, grab one and go get changed. I'll put the cat on. Okay. Damn, these are some ugly clothes. Which one? Oh, the one on the right, for sure. Hell yeah. Take a shower. Flush? Nah. Wait, how do I change cl Oh. Just use it. Merry Christmas! If it's brown, flush it down. If it's yellow, let it mellow. Don't say anything. Offer him food? What sort of food would this guy be into? I don't know. Make a sandwich. Salami? A chicken leg? Done. Wait, what kind of sandwich should I make? Bacon, lettuce, tomato. We don't have tomatoes. We don't have... I can only put three things. Do we have spam? We don't even have spam. Oh, we do. Spam. That's it? Done. No. Just spam? Chocolate? 
Spam. Some strawberries. With the leaf and mushrooms. Dogs can't have chocolate. Oh fuck. Okay. Oh fuck, I already made it, whatever. Um Oh the lamb. You want here here here. Want this frozen? And then Didn't I have to do something blood blood blood? He needs my blood. Wait, do you want the sandwich too? He's still hungry? food oh the donner in the cupcake if I was holding it all this time wait no he's not hungry anymore how do I give him blood? Okay. Point at the horse. <laughs> if I talk to him? I don't want to find out. No! I have to restart. Better not be getting blood on the floors. We're going to furry con. Grimbone and Sim hide the Kim. Hi. Put finger on your lips.
This won't shut him up for long. I'm gonna stop this idiot before he opens his mouth. Put, kick him in the balls. Sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. I needed him to not say anything. If he screamed, I think it, that doesn't count as talking though. That was a risk I was willing to take. I think Mr. Furry just doesn't like being spoken to or something. I don't know. Yeah, not a single word to him. So... Going like, ah, isn't really a word. I can't talk to him right now. Oh, he needs my blood and then I need to dig something up. Yeah. He needs my blood. How do I give him my blood? Maybe it's after? He did mention it after. What the? What is that? Hold of China? Wait, what did that say? Look, Steve. Bye, bye. blood. Oh, this- <laughs> oh, it's a lock. There's meds everywhere. What the fuck? What if it was the levels we peopled? Wait, what? Surely there's a hint. Light off, maybe. Ah! I forgot it. Ah, da, da! Okay. Key! Apartment 6. That was the apartment in Burnhouse Lane. this oh. 
Of an end, his eyes have all the seeming of wait of a demon that is dreaming, and the lamp light Owen oh, him streaming throws his shadow on the floor, and my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted nevermore. What? I know why you came here. Who the fuck are you? You want the box, don't you? Yes. What box? Yes. Yes. At least I think so. It's okay to want it. I mean, everyone wants it. Even I sometimes. But you can have it. I would never be able to make use of it anyway. Who are you? Who are you? Um, look. Whenever I try to remember my name, I get this huge fucking headache. Oh. It literally feels I think she's like dead already. So she can't make hundreds use of, it. of tiny knives. So, no offense, but I'll just skip that part. May Thanks, Rune Spawn and Grimbone. It's not like it matters anyway. She's probably I'm dead. Just another ghost living on Burnhouse Lane, waiting for something. I think it should be happening any day now. Tell me more about this box. Well, it's black, which, by the way, happens to be my favorite color. Goth Goral. And it's made of wood, about this big. But it's not the box itself that you want. It's what's in it. What's in the box? And what's that? spoil it for you. You'll see for yourself when you get it. If you get it, I mean. Because it's not going to be easy. Do you know where I can find this box? Yeah. It's in the other building, right across this great big chasm. Look. Oh, shit. But how can I get there? I know a way. I could take you there. But there's something we should do before we go. What? And I know this will sound a bit crazy. But we'll need a cat to help us. The bent cat? You know him? What? No, he's not burned. He's white as snow, with a black stripe on Ooh, his tail. Oh, kitty! He kind of looks like a big... Raccoon. Rack attack. You know what I mean? Moonlight. Yes, so you know him. Oh, we've been to hell and back together. He's an old friend. Rack attack is so cute. Where is he? Oh. Well, it's a long, <laughs> bloody street. He could be anywhere. But you can summon him. Summon? A cat? Summon a cat. Yeah, I don't see why not. Indeed. Yeah, the the cat came back to life. How the hell do I summon a cat? Well, there's only one way I know. Psst, 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 psst. So tell me, can you by any chance play the piano? Oh, it's just a cat what? lady. Um, yeah, I can. I used to be pretty good. But what's that got to do with bloody cats? She played the piano it. and then the cats would come you know? and she would feed them. I have this friend who always opens the window <gasps> and plays for the neighborhood cats. And they all come running like she's their cat. Wait, is that Mitzi? Shall we ask a friend to play then? No. She she can't come to Burnhouse Lane. Thankfully. So, yeah. It's gonna have to be you, I'm afraid. I think that might be Mitzi. Oh. And make sure you put Mitzi out the was milk for the cat, the cat first. lady's friend. They like that. I think okay. and then Mitzi died of cancer. Milk and music. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, Mitzi had cancer too. You're sick. Like me, aren't you? Everyone's sick on Burnhouse Lane. Haven't you noticed that yet? Oh. We're all dealing with it differently. 
Some of us give up right at the start. They put a gun to their head and pull the trigger. They swallow poison. Anything, really. Just to escape the horrors waiting for them here. Is it prequel? Then, no. There's the weak ones. No, this would have They're to come after. To fight, but how can they win against their own minds? So they all turn into pathetic shadows of their former selves, and they wander the dark corners of this place like zombies. And then there's us. What about Donner? We are strong enough to see it through to the end. But at what cost? Why do you not want the box? Why do you not want the box for yourself? Oh, that's because I know what's inside. And it's not for me. Or rather, I know I'd be very tempted to use it. Because I really don't want to die. But that would make me someone that I don't want to be. So I'll pass. What? Thank you. But you I want to see what's in the box. It's okay. I don't judge. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, I don't want to- I want to find out Thanks. when I open it. Is there anything in particular I should play? I don't think it matters, as long as the music is coming straight from your heart. I want to find out, I yeah. haven't played in years. Don't worry. It'll all come back to you. Okay. It's time for me. I'll talk to you later, girl. Girl? Be careful out there. I heard strange noises outside earlier tonight. Another ruby? Another big Bertha? I have to open it first. Okay. Maybe turn off. Take the light bulb. Don't know why, but if you have a feeling, I'll need it. The door's blocked. It's missing a doorknob. Save. Inside the box is Elden Ring DLC. Woo! Let me see if I can replace the door, uh, the bulb here. No. What is that? Ultraviolet. Is there cum everywhere? This man died from illness. It's oozing. His stomach is bloated. There's something inside of it. Red light bulb. I turn off my. It didn't do anything. I'll just take. I'll just take all the bulbs with me for now. What if I put the red one over here? Nothing. Hmm. Peculiar! The light bulb collector. Locked from the other side. Thirty steps to nowhere. Ah! <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Hello. More light bulb, yes. I desire the bulb. There's nothing here. Okay, try the red one. Nothing. Just hold on, hold on to them for now. Huh. What's this? Examine. Push. Nobody live there. What's down there? Jump down. Woo! <laughs> Oof. Damn, she's got strong knees. Shotgun? What the? It has no ammo. Ah! There's ammo now. Are there dudes here? Oh shit. I got move just take one step forward while you're reloading you stupid ass stupid ass stupid ass Stupid ass. Stupid ass. Stupid ass. Stupid ass. Stupid ass. I'm out of ammo. Okay. Me when it's no longer time to play League of Legends. Ooh, more shells. Uh oh. Did I just shoot them? Many. Is that it? <laughs> Luke's coffee shop. Smile. This is a cafe? Ooh. Wait, that guy died? That's Ben. I forgive you for what you did. 
I know you didn't want to hurt me. Aww. Rip him. Make espresso. I don't need- I need a cup! Turn it off! <laughs> Clearly something is missing. Okay, dude. I get it. What should I make? Let's make a latte. Take coffee. Maybe I'll offer it to someone. Why would I turn off the water supply? I'm not sure. Can I break it? Oh, so I only get milk. Why would I need milk? The kitties! True! Give me another cup. Lattes for me. Turn the water back on. I don't think you're supposed to give cats milk, but it's fine. It's just a video game. I got some milk. Come back. Not cow's milk. So what milk is okay? What's this? Cat's milk? Oh. Okay. If you're supposed to get cat's milk, I would assume it's from a cat. I need a pee. BRB! I'm gonna get some water.
Hmm. What am I doing with the scissors? Oh, stab him. to use the red one oh the purple one aha there we go I didn't want to actually sneeze my food out of my mouth Put the milk. Put it here. Put it here. Milk. No, no, no. Don't give it to me. I'm not a cat. I don't even like milk. Just put it on the floor in front of the chasm. Oh. That should do it. Well, I didn't. You want a, um,. A latte. Oh, this looks fancy. You made it for me. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> All right here. Play. Claire de Lune. Why is she sitting so wide? I picked a song because it was the Evil Within Save Room song. Ugh! Trash! Improvise? So spread. It worked. This is incredible. Cats are magical creatures. Everyone knows that. Yeah, the cat is uh brought bought, got brought hey, back to life by her there, dead husband. You all right? In okay. Limbo, and which then we shall go over to the other building. I'm sure it explains a lot. <laughs> huh? I'll explain it later. Now go on, show him some love. She's trying to me. I'm the cat. Me. 
Wait, if you throw. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Wait, is that person from Cat? Yeah, I think that's Mitzi. Uh, the friend that died of cancer. I was gonna say, if you threw a cat off a building, will it die? I am Rob. Remember, my name is Rob. Oh, okay, so I think the priest got kidnapped here, and then his soul got trapped here as eternal punishment, and he's, like, forgetting who he is, so he wrote that down to try to remember. He's probably getting tortured somewhere, if I had to guess. So, here's the plan. We need to get up to the top floor. That's where the box is. Behind the red door. Apartment 13. It's locked, but I can handle it. It is her. Oh, exactly. She lockpicks. Um, I've been known for my ability to unlock things with lockpicks. I'm not a burglar or anything, but it's a useful skill to have. Sometimes I think it even saves lives. The priest might be evil. The problem is with the elevator. It doesn't work like it should. And that's where our friend Moonlight steps in. It's kind of tricky, so listen carefully. There's this device up there. A scale of swords. Moonlight can bring items scattered around here and place them on the scale. If he picks the right ones, the elevator should go straight to the top. What sort of items are we talking about? Well, I have three light bulbs. At first glance, they're just ordinary, everyday objects. But they all represent the good and bad things that people like us will never get to experience in life anymore. And how is a bloody cat supposed to know what they are? Cats know more than you think. I thought you'd understand that. A donner kebab? I showed you my donner. Come on then. Let's get in the elevator. Who wants? Find three items that represent the best sides of life. That Angie and the girl will not live to experience. What? Three items that represent the best sides of life that Angie and the girl will not live to experience. I don't even know what that means. Place them on the scale. Move to the top of the right bowl, fully out the left. I don't know what that means. Dolphins? Minecraft? Donner? A noose? Can money buy happiness? Yes, but it can also poison our hearts. No! Can I put it back? I don't want it. No, 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 I don't want it. Oh my fuck. I can't put it back. Maybe I can get more. Video games? Okay, I'll just pick whatever up. Just to see if I can drop them. Drugs. <laughs> yeah. Pussy money weed. What's this? Food? Oh, replace drugs. Maybe there's no right answer. I enjoy food. How do I go back up?
Is that... What is this? It's a streamer setup. A trophy. Admiration of strangers to live a happy life. Replace playing card. YouTube. Oh, look at these glow- I used to have one of these, like, glowing cat lamps. Oh, hell yeah. Why is she dead? She's gamer girl's dead. Group gamer girl. Is that my setup? Boy, I wish. Alright, pussy money weed. All a muffa need pussy money weed. Did it work? Did we do it? Yes. No. Ah oh, shit! We're nowhere near where we're supposed to be. Let's go down and. That they will never experience? I don't know. They've already experienced drugs. Right? They've already experienced food. I guess. See what's available. Did I already get everything? I just want to see if I. So it, what is what is this? All of these options? Drugs. I don't know, dude. Really stalling out the game time. Oh, there's a child here. Place drugs. And burger? Maybe fame. Fame money child. They've already experienced burger. I think they all- they already experienced burger. Replace <laughs> drugs with child. Replace cards. Try that. this fucking useless hallway why'd you put this here now I gotta go all the way back
there. Is it right? No, it still needs to be higher. We're not high enough. Let's go down. It means does that mean I think one of them is wrong? God, now I have to fucking run all the way back. Try drugs. Thanks, Rufus. And 13 Rukia and a 10 tuition and Zumo. Drugs? Really? Somebody just tell me what the answer is because I don't want to keep fucking running around. This design is awful. Okay, I'll look it up myself. Um, burn house lane, what are the three elevator objects? I really don't want to fucking do this shit again. Chapter chapter six burn house lane objects. Fuck no one knows. No one played this shit. God damn it. No one fucking played this shit. I don't know what it is. I don't want to keep running back and forth. Steam burn house lane steam guide. Ring? There's no ring. What ring? Through. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna look at what they put in. Fuck that. Wait! There's hidden stuff! There's hidden stuff. Trying to find where he got it. Fucking hell. God bless this Japanese VTuber for ex existing. It's like a ring and hair, yeah, but I don't know where they got it from. you knock the lamp over? Oh, okay. Dude, there's no way I would've figured that out. Fuck that. This is some stalling game time to prolong... prolong, uh, game hours.
Here. Oh no, the baby sock. I need that. Fuck. Can you knock this over? So Cal, go back down. God, this part is such a drag. How is that a puzzle though? That's just like, you have to fucking find the hidden shit. Worst part of the game. Very annoying. Represent my asshole. Fuck you, devs. Stalling for game time. Bitch, yes, it's things they can't experience anymore, but it's like you had to find you had to like go really out of your way to find it. Fuck that, that's a waste of my goddamn time. This entire level is just to stall the ending. Thanks, Tango and Deaf Nuraz. Well, the shit. Ew. Spiders. It's a lot of spiders. I fucking hate spiders. I kinda like them. You know, there's this dark, indescribable beauty in spiders. Really? Look at those spider eggs. Or whatever the fuck they are. They look like olives. They look beautiful to you. Yeah, okay. That's fucking gross. <laughs> the box! Yeah, what about it? I ate small live, I did. I'll hold it. Go, run. Okay. I can't leave you here. Please, you have to. It's too late for me. Okay. You've got a chance. So get the fuck out of here. Really? You sure? Here, have this gun. Here, have scissors. Never mind. Bye bye. So 
smash! What's that? Oh, what do I do? Oh, it's him. Relax. You're safe now. Wait, he talks. Whatever you saw in there, it's gone. For now, at least. Oh, yes, I can talk. It's almost dawn. I no longer feel the hunger inside. That means you're free to speak. Oh, if I talked to him, he would ate me. I see you have the box. Good. Now, put it on the big rock and open it. Okay. What's in the box? Did we beat cancer? Whoever smokes this cigarette will receive your cancer. Choose carefully who you give it to. Once the smoke hits their lungs. Jenny? No going back. Only death and suffering. And for you, a new life. I think they want you to give it to Jenny. Now forget you ever saw me. Or you could give it to George because he's already a dying. Room. A ghost. A shadow. One day we'll meet again. I'll take you with me for a long walk down to the river. But don't trouble yourself with that now. Now it's time to celebrate your success. Give it to Jenny. Shouldn't you smile. Wait, what if I gave it to a child? Was Mr. Fox really just a dream? Oh, what difference does it make? What matters now is that all your tasks are done. Get off my I roof! Got what you wanted. Well, almost. It'll all be over as soon as someone smokes that special cigarette of yours. Easy to say. I didn't know it would be like this. To be honest, I'm not even sure if I can do this. Take your time. Maybe you can choose to not give it to anybody. But not too long. Soon the sickness will make you weak, and then... Well, let's just say that it would be such a shame to waste your gift after you worked so what hard What if for she it. smokes it, and Don't then she think? gets cancer, and she's like, well... And she doesn't get cancer, she's like, well, I'm still depressed, because I don't want to do anything. It's... It, it would still be a waste if she gave it to Jenny, and then proceeded to do nothing with her life. So we don't know, like, what if she doesn't, what if she proceeds to not do anything? The lab. I 
Angie? You all right? You haven't come down all day. I'm getting worried about you, dear. Feet. Sorry. I... I didn't realize. I've not been feeling too well. Oh. But I'll be down in a minute. What? Uh, no. No, no, no. You you stay in bed, darling. I, I'm managing perfectly fine here on my own. So take your time and rest, and, and don't worry about a thing. I'll go and make you a cup of tea, shall I? And a nice sandwich. Yes. I bet you'll feel better once you've had some food in you. Do you need anything, nurse? I'm going into town. I could stop at the pharmacy, get you some cough syrup or painkillers or something. No need, Kieran. Thanks, but... I just need some rest, that's all. You sure? Because that's no bother. Not at all. I'll be fine. Oh yeah, We're sorry lucky. about kicking you in the balls. But give us a shout if you need anything. Yeah? Because, uh, I, um... We're all worried about you, nurse. I think Angie should just die. She's pathetic. You're not still upset about... You know, when I pushed you? Because I was really drunk at the time, and I just fucking... <sighs> snapped. That's Jenny, yeah. But that was not cool. And I know that. And I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah? Give it to Richard the horse. Okay. Cool. Cause I was thinking you could come over to LA when this is all over. Oh yeah! And then we go shopping. Yes! Really amazing places. Like Yeah, girl, take me to LA. Woo! I think Angie should just fucking die. There's no such thing as a bad sandwich, really. It don't matter what you put on it. Still make for a hearty meal. But I'm an old man. I know what I like, and I know what I don't. And nothing beats a good old ham and mustard, if you ask me. Well, I can Because I don't want to. I don't want to kill any of them. Not now, dear. I'm all right. It's just good to have you back. You know. That's very sweet of you, George. Thank you. But... I should be looking after you, not the other way around. Oh, we can still do more than everyone thinks I'm capable of. The truth Why is, not? I, don't I, even I need mean, Jenny is like, she's Sarah a vain insisted, bitch, yeah, and but... I just didn't want to that, that she doesn't deserve cancer. I fight her either. She can kill people with just her eyes. Well, it's been nice having you around. She's a, you she's going shouted. through shit. You give me sandwiches, and you're you're good company. I like you, Angie, and helping you when you're sick. It's the least I. Yeah, I think it's transferred the cancer. It won't be long before your regular care is back. Yeah, why don't we give it to a oh, serial no. killer? <laughs> I'll give it to someone who God already God has cancer. Choice. I. Didn't realize she had a nickname. Stinky Joyce? Oh, yeah. She smells so weird, I swear. She really does. And I'm not even sensitive to smells or anything. I'm a bloody farmer. Oh, for God. Constant. That just, like, gave me. We've been around cows all my life. I remember some people you, that dude, fucking smell like shit. Like, people like I would have daisies. to go. Because <laughs> my dad sure. would make them tutor me and they but would the smell, smell weird. Joyce has on her. But it's like. Oh, Let's know. give it a Joyce. It's like chemicals. For some reason, oh, because Joyce makes the meth, it. the meth lab. It really bothers me. I should get back to work. Tell me what needs to be done, George. Oh, well, I would like to ask you a favor, actually. Yeah? What is it? Just uh, come to the living room and uh, grab that bag of crisps on the way. Let's give you? it to Joyce. I don't know if we could, though. 
What day is it today? End of October? But we were just September... Were we not September the 13th? There you are. Sit down. And pass the crisps. The film's about to start. We're we watching Titanic? A film? Yes. An American one. So sit down. Put your feet up. Make yourself... When they say up. they love the American movies, does it include, like... Like, is it like Transformers? Oh, sounds like sounds I've like Titanic. Before, <laughs> but that's okay. It's one of those movies. I think, you can keep it sounds like Titanic, again, but again. Where's Jenny? She's become a basement dweller lately. Whatever her problem is, she don't want to share it with me. And I don't intend to pry. I believe I can move on. Oh, come on. There's plenty of room. Oh, yeah, there's a Just get on that bloody door. <laughs> well, they'd both fall in the water if we did that. But she could just scooch over or something. I swear, it feels like she just wants him to freeze to death. I've never seen Titanic. No, they had the- they, like, covered the Titanic song, so it wouldn't copyright. But it was a little different. What am I waiting for? The time's running, I can feel it. I should just do it. Give it to someone, leave it to start again, away from it all. Even if saving my eyes means losing my soul. Nah. I'm, I'm gonna die. I'll let her die. Because, uh, Angie is whatever. My whole body is gonna find the pain relief. They all have more meaningful lives than Angie. And like... <laughs> it's like taking a gamble that you think Angie won't waste it. There's a fire burning in my chest. She's never been this sick before. We should call an ambulance. Oh, there's maybe Arno. I'll drive her to the hospital myself. It'll be faster that way. No, Kira. No? What good will that do? This cancer is killing her. But there's no cure or treatment that'll make her better. If she goes to the hospital, they'll pump her full of morphine. Leave her to die among strangers. What sort of death is that? I don't know, George. I just don't know anything anymore. What would she want? We know what she doesn't want. And that's hospitals. Oh. She told me. I guess she's just gonna as die. As bad as it is to watch her suffer like this. I'll make sure she stays here. With us. Till the end. After all. We're the only friends she's gone. She's in Birdhouse Lane. Having fever dream. <laughs> Look at the flower bed. I've brought you some vegetable soup. I know you're not hungry. I'm a but nugget you man. Eat something. You'll feel better with nice hot soup in your tummy. Wait, what if I accidentally get offered it to someone that was there? I hate soup. I hate soup, and I hate you. That's all right. Oh darling. fuck! We'll try again later. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, that's.
that's what I thought. I tried to pick the nicest option, but they're all terrible. One of them was like, fuck off. That's why I didn't want to offer the cigarette. This hammer won't do it. If only had a squadron of tanks. Oh, the hammer will do. Just fine. Oh, it's her trying to open the basement. This is pathetic, Junie. You can't open this. And the sooner you realize it, the better for all of us. Oh, what do you know? You're just a grumpy dying woman that stinks of this. Hey, wake up. Mm. You don't want to do this. Thing. There's a monster inside. I know. Why do you think I've been trying to open it? But it will... No, it won't. It's my monster, and it will do as I say. You never flush? That was one of the options? The you set it free. Well, there's only one way to find out. This door needs a password to open, and I happen to know it. You're showing me? You've known it all this time, and you've never told me. You never asked. Well, I'm asking now. Tell me. What's the damn password, Angie? What? Hello, hello. This is Nighthawk. Over. Are you making fun of me? Maybe. <laughs> Well, don't. I'm not in the mood for this shit. I thought my head was pounding. But it was you all along. No, uh, listen, sweetheart. Your head is pounding because you're fucking dying. No. So leave me alone. I'm almost there. Get out of my head, Jenny. I can't take it anymore. I didn't ask to be in your head. Eh. No, shut up and let True. me do my thing. Thanks, Silky. And very wrong. Stop this noise. You'll wake up George. Huh, that old fool can't hear a thing. <laughs> but even if he did, do I really look like I give a shit? Well, you should give a shit. He gave you shelter and food, and he's been nothing but kind to you. I don't want shelter. She wants drugs. <laughs> or food. Or fucking kindness what do you want me? isn't it obvious <sighs> i want to open this goddamn fucking door no hey would you like a cigarette maybe she's just you know dreaming I don't smoke. but didn't you ask me for a cigarette the other night yeah well i smoke occasionally when i'm drunk or high but i'm neither now so, I can get you a drink. Let's look at this place. There's booze everywhere. Um, I guess. You carry on hammering on that door. I'll get you a little something to help you relax. Maybe it's just a dream. Oh, uh, why not? I never say no to a glass of martini. Martini it is. Bottle 
bottle of vodka. Wait, do I have to mix the drink with her too? Brandy. Vermouth. I don't know these drinks. Make martini. Oh. What do I add? What's in a martini? Everything? No. Gin. And vermouth. Oops, I put this the wrong one. Gin. Ah! I keep pressing. Hold on. No! I keep, I keep thinking there's like one more E I have to press. Okay, gin. And vermouth. Mix. Wait, I need an Jenny? olive. Oh, she's gone. I need a small live. She got her clothes back. She's like, I'm not wearing that Christmas sweater anymore. Immediately smokes? No way. What, did someone- What? Did I really spend all this time in bed? It's the- Is it December or something? George left his own device. I really am the worst nurse. I should check if he's okay. Was she getting paid this whole time? Oh shit. He's just sleeping out here. I need to check the date. December? What? You are crazy, girl. She slept two months away. The door's open. Jenny? Are you in there? Oh, she finally opened it. I need to find a flashlight. Flashlight. You guys got a flashlight anywhere? I haven't flushed that toilet ever since I started peeing in there. You guys got a flashlight? Warehouse? Right here. The store is usually closed. No. No flashlight? Shit. Flashlight, flashlight. Oh, 
Arno is in that room. What? Where does chair go? Damn, he's strong. He's doing air squats. So he doesn't need a chair. He's working out his core. Yo, where's the fucking flashlight? Is it really in my car? Damn it, where's the flashlight? I already checked out here. Yeah, Dev's stalling again. Making you run around the whole fucking house. Okay, I've checked everywhere. Where's the flashlight? <laughs> the Japanese VTuber knows where- Oh, there's a cat! Where's the fucking flashlight? God! <laughs> Just snored. It's supposed to be in George's hand? Oh! There. You had to examine him. God. Invisible devs. <laughs> oh my god, this is where they're making fucking crystal meth. It's a meth lab. And they have weed. <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> um. You got me. Damn, girl! You should have seen your face. You went all. <laughs> ah! And then you did the. Are you done? And anyway, what are you lurking in the dark like that for? Well, I. Finally, open the door, and let me just tell you, that fucker took some serious beating. But then, I couldn't put the lights on. She I stayed here for three months? Switch and Doesn't I she have work it, to do? Fuck all. And then, five minutes later, I saw you come in with your flashlight. Great timing, Angie. As usual. You can't take that long of a no break. Way, huh? She has work to do. Clearly, there's no power here. Let's see if we can fix that. Lead on then, light bearer. I will be right behind you. This is the dank. Damn, Joyce did all this on her own? Look! Something's not right. Fix. Well, that's easy. Do you know how to fix generators? No, but I think it's all about connecting ignition wires to correct spark plugs. Really? I literally have no idea. You just gotta hit the, the checks. Just shut up and let me think. It can't be that hard. 
Zero out of three. <laughs> really? I think he did. So easy. Oh. I can do that. That's it. Actually, That's a reference one. to DVD because they had the hook thing earlier too. Ah, oh. shit. Are you okay? So much soil. Wow. Angie. She said we're in heaven. Weed. Oh, they're not healthy. Oh no. Oh shit, she's back. Who the fuck are you? I'm Angie. George's Kara. Oh, yes. The agency nurse. Oh, you guys are the worst. And who's a skinny bitch behind you? It's Jenny Wilde. Angie, what the fuck? <laughs> the actress? I mean, she's recognizable. Oh, no, no. Same name. Just a coincidence. <laughs> Want a cigarette? You are her. I might be crippled, but I'm not blind. Hell. You got any more celebs hiding in there? Yeah, here's Elon Musk. Mariah Carey, George <gasps> ah, I want. Oh, should I check? Bye, Christmas. Can we go now? Please? <sighs> Not really. I'm guessing you are George's regular carer? Joyce, is that right? Well, I sure as LH Cinderella, darling. You did such a great job looking after George all these years. He's very fond of you. I doubt him. You're it not says you really smell the kind weird. of person who'd murder two innocent people in cold blood like this. Why are you? Stinky joys. No, you're right. I'm a cook. I'd rather not have blood on my hands if I can avoid it. Oh, so I'll shit. just call the boys. Oh, shit. Don't the call boys. the boys, please. They'll know what to do. Wait, one of them will just steal my cigarette and now, smoke it. Get in there and remember. I don't want to do it, but I'll shoot you if you leave me no choice. Well, great fucking job. Enjoy your stay. Oh, she got a mech leg. You guys are so fucked. Hey, can we at least get a high while we wait for the boys? <laughs> oh. Fucking Jenny. This totally fucking sucks. Got any bright ideas? Not yet. But in my experience, the best ideas are often the simplest ones. Uh. Generator. Why would you put us in the generator room? For the boys. I'll fucking deal with it myself. Well, that was. I guess the problem took care Jenny? of itself. Um, did Jenny just break out? Should we not turn it back on? Oh no, we're tripping out again. Bye. <laughs> Maybe we're high. Maybe we're hotboxed. Oh, we can dodge past. I'm not scared of them anymore. Movement. I'm up. What did I climb up for?
What? Dash through it, really? Go watch that Japanese VTuber guy so we know what to do. It didn't do anything. Unless I missed. No, it didn't do anything. Really? I guess it's just nothing. Where am I going? Oh. She just doesn't care about them. That's all it took. She just had to not care. That's easy. Oh no! Omar! He died. Pull out the axe. Rip. No more don the don our kebab. I didn't kill him. Doner kebab. Gurnyurn. <laughs> what? Gurney. Where's Gurney? Whoa, hello. Oh, Angie. What's going on? You should have run while you could. I really hoped you wouldn't see the end of Burnhouse Lane. What? This last house. This smoldering fortress of death itself. It will be your grave. You're hurt. What happened to you? I tried to catch a little spider. To leave him as a present on your doorstep. But he was quick. He stunned me. Poisoned me. Now I'm dying. What? Sorry. I really hoped I could spare you that one last fight. What a fucking noob. You've been a good friend. Thank you. All of this would have been a lot harder. You want a cigarette since you're dying anyways? I couldn't really save you from the horrors of Burnhouse Lane. But I think I gave you a good enough reason to go on, didn't I? You did make me do some crazy shit, if that's what you mean. And here you are, standing tall. Ready for your final fight. Last fight? I'm going to kill that spider for you. I promise. You are. But I thought you were scared of spiders. After all the things I've been through... I think being a nugget is more scary. Why would you do all that for me? Does every act of kindness need a reason? I simply chose you, Angie. To love and protect. Because cats choose their what? owners. Why? There's nothing special about me. I'm not that brave or kind. I don't have a great sense of humor, the looks. That's why she should just die. I'm not even a very good nurse. Feeding poor George sandwiches every day and hardly- That's why she shouldn't give the all. cigarette to anyone because everybody else has a better life. Someone more worthy out there. Exactly. Like this. Die. I've never been a perfect cat either. Fussing over food, sharpening my claws on things I shouldn't be touching. True. But none of that matters, Angie. It's something you people often forget about. True love is unconditional. And if I could, I'd take that magic cigarette out of your pocket. It's not too late! There's right some now. fire right there. We could light it. But alas, cats can't smoke. 
Oh. Is there anything I can do? For me, no. But you can still save yourself. You went through hell to complete your tasks. You earned your prize. You found the box. Use it. Okay. Don't let it go to waste. Keep on living. No. Isn't that what you wanted? I haven't made my choice yet. It's now or never, Angie. I hope you realize that. It's not so simple. There's no black or white. It's all shades of grey. There isn't anyone that's truly evil. Exactly. In my life. Except she with should Mary, just perhaps. die. If she somehow came back to life and asked for a smoke. We should go find someone. <laughs> but she's dead. Can we offer to so. some inmate? Goodbye, Kat. I'll see you on the other side. Oh, I wasted my desert eagle. Just give it to a lolly lover or something. doing Oh get owned He lost to this, yeah. I mean, he got poisoned. He got DOT'd. Damage over time. Maybe poison super- Is poison super effective against fire? What's going on? What is this? Related. No, maybe that Japanese VTuber guy swung at it 50 times. Where's the spider? Die. Maybe I burn it. I, I'm probably burn it on fire. What is it? Cotton jumper. Wrap it around the axe. Fire axe. <laughs>
Now what, just smack it? Thanks kinda Jinx and yo mama, my waifu. Oh yeah, what about the tumor? Yeah, hold on. God, the fucking staircase again. Smack the tumor. Brand, get over here. I can feel the flames burning as deep as my heart. What is this? Oh, hi. You're alive. And so are you. Thanks, I Skibbers. I ended up with spider food. I guess the spider didn't really fancy me. Or maybe he was waiting for the main course. <laughs> but that's not happening either. See this? Yeah, a fire axe. I like it. You can go. You're free. Free? What does it even mean? Well, this is the end of Burnhouse Lane. And with the lane ends the suffering. But who knows? Maybe your next great adventure is just around the corner. Yeah? You really think there's something else out there? I don't know. There's always something out there. Your story has only just begun. How's your head? Still hurting? No. I just feel so... empty. I'm not even angry anymore. I guess what if we told her her name? I wonder how- what would happen? Would she remember everything? Let's go. It's time to kill some spiders. Yeah, I want to see you kill that thing, if that's the last thing I do. But wait, before we go, in case we get split up again- What's her name? Mitzi. I want you From the cat lady. This. What is it? Oh, I remember this. It's Walter Green's mask. Oh. Quite disgusting, really. Why would you give it to me? Take it back to your world. It doesn't belong here. No? Okay. If you say so. Thanks. I guess. The mask. Ew. It is her. Yeah, she mentioned she had a friend that liked playing piano for cats. be no more save points after leaving. Okay. I can't. Oh. No, this is the after. This is purgatory. She's dead. She's not dead, but she will be. Actually, is Mitzi dead? Maybe Mitzi didn't die of cancer. Maybe this is where people who, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Mitzi's not, it is, she is dead, okay, she, she is dead, maybe she just didn't accept her fate or something, I don't fucking know, dude. Hi. Hi. I don't feel scared or angry. I don't feel anything at all. I've faced my biggest fears and I've conquered them all. What else is there to be afraid of? I'm ready. For Freddy. <laughs> I 
Let's make Joyce smoke the thing. I think that's the play. <gasps> Wait, she wasn't there. She fucking fell down the stairs. Where'd she go? Hey, look who's up. You gotta try this shit, Angie. Oh. Um. <laughs> this stuff is amazing. What? No wonder that pervy old vicar wanted it so badly. Uh. You're high as a kite, aren't you, Jenny? And you're a fucking buzzkill. You're never gonna change, are you? What's going on? Are we all friends now? Oh, right. You were unconscious, I think, when Joyce fell down the stairs. You'd never guess what happened. It turned out the door to our cell was super shit. <laughs> I gave it a kick and bang, it just opened. I helped Joyce up, we talked, and then we just, how do you guys say it? Um, we got on like a house on fire. <laughs> Does what? that mean we're free to go? It's not my call. The boys will decide. But to be honest, I really don't like the look of you, Missy. You'll call the cops first chance you get, won't you? No, I won't. Ask Jenny. She knows I can be trusted. I just feel yeah. bad for George because there's a meth lab in Is his Nurse basement. Angie blabbermouth? I think... Um, I don't want to say it, but... Yeah. She'll tell everyone. What? <laughs> but Nurse Angie is as fun as a dry mop. The boys. All right, darling. All right, boys. <laughs> I see. It's because I kept rats. telling her to not take drugs. Long that doesn't school. mean I'll tell She's people, though. A rat. Is a rat. So let me deal with this, yeah? Yeah, sure. You. You like our product? I. I can see it all over your face. Makes me a buzzkill? Yeah, but I, I wouldn't enjoy. snitch. Y yes, sir. Course you did. It's the best. But. It's expensive stuff. Very expensive. Especially when dirty fucking rats stick their dirty fucking noses into it. You know what I mean? Here's what we do. We'll keep the blonde for now. She kind of reminds me of someone. I want to try something on her. Oh, God. Oh, come on, mate. You promised you wouldn't do any of that. Let's get rid of the grumpy face first. You there, behind him. I thought we're almost done the game, but there's an entire arc. <gasps> Take her to the garden, Johnny. Really? Really? What is your problem now? It's freezing out there. Can't we just do it here and be done with it? Johnny, we do it here. We're gonna have blood all over the equipment. And we don't need that shit right now, do we? Come on, off you go. Let's get this done before the old man wakes up. What about Kieran Fine. and Arno? They don't know they're here. Put your hands up so I can see them. Good. No go. Move it. Go on. You know where the garden is. Don't try ah! running, yeah? Ah! I told 
do not to run. <laughs> I didn't think he would actually shoot me. Oh, wow, they actually gave me a checkpoint. <laughs> ah! Don't try running, yeah? That's enough. You can stop. Don't turn around. And no funny business. So, um... Do you have any last wishes or something? You wanna smoke my cigarette? I'd like to have one last cigarette. Oh, come on. We don't have time for that. Do you smoke? Do you smoke? Here, have one with me. We've smoked a whole pack on the way here. Fuck. Fuck. <gasps> ah, fuck it. Just one more won't hurt, eh? What if there's someone else we could give it to? He what if he's just a boy who doesn't know? It's not an insta-kill. There's not gonna be someone else? Really? Okay. Don't move, or I'll shoot. His cane is a gun? Now drop the gun. Oh, you Put can't even. Good boy. Angie? Thanks, George. What just exploded? That's all right, my dear. There's two more. Oh and no, it's two. a cane. He pretended oh, it was a gun. A good with my it's stick. yeah. He he doesn't yeah, know it's not a gun. No, I'll do it. He shot. You should hide somewhere and wait until it's safe. I like a coward when there's bandits robbing my bloody house. That's not right. I'll deal with them. Trust me. I've got this. Angie, they're. They're horrible, scary people. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Yes. I can see that. Go. Look at this mask I got, though. Really? I just go? Oh no. Oh it's shit. Going. Why are you dressed like this? Give mask. I think you'll need this. Ew, it no, probably smells so I'm bad. I'm gonna be honest with you. There's a bad man inside this door. He needs to be dealt with. If we don't do anything, he'll hurt some people. He might even kill us. But you can save us, Walter. You can save us all. Thanks, Peran. What do you say? And Skibber. What, did he run out of lines? Oh, I'm playing as him. Wait, so what if he was dead? What if I didn't save our- OW! An actress, eh? You care about your looks, don't you? I'll bet you do. Well, how about we take them away? A bit of uh, sulfuric acid should do the job. What do you reckon, Joyce? But why? I'm gonna turn her into a fucking zombie. Mate, that's a bit much. I did not sign up for this kind of shit. 
You caused this shit! You've been careless and left the lab open for everyone to see. Yes, but I said, come on. That's really fucked up, innit? In it. Can't we just give her a slap and let her go? Maybe we could give the cigarette to the she guy. But it seems like he's gonna die. Her if she did. What? What? Who the fuck is that? Hi. Oh shit. Come any closer and I'll fucking shoot you! God, I gotta go from here. Oops. Maybe I have Chi Engine. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, and then I inject that, and then it enables. I don't feel scared or angry. I don't. Oh, feel but they—it's it, like based it's off the audio, so. Oh wait, no, it's fine. Hey, what's going up? Oh, up uh, you. you. Is that it's not but you uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Oh. You. You. But. I'll let you come. <laughs> Say. Try running, yeah? That's enough. Don't and so do you I oh just we but ah just don't move now good Angie <laughs> Oh he he Arnold's not talking. So, you are Walter Green now. The rituals didn't work. All that black magic bullshit did fuck all, as you'd imagine. But you found another way to bring Walter back. And here you are. Wait, he's gonna become a serial killer? Anymore, can you? It's okay. I get it. That's why? What the fuck? I think you'll need this. He wants to become Walter? Now, there's a bad. Are you, are you, what are you? He's role playing. <laughs> okay, I turned it off. Ooh, nice rainbow potions. Is this where they're making the gay potion? What if I did all that just you to watch Jenny get kicked in the stomach again? What? That's all I wanted to do.
No, he just dies. I can't get to him. Fucking hell. What the bloody hell was this all about? What the fuck? Let's hey go, there, Kieran. Fuck this. He doesn't dodge, you stupid fucks. You guys don't even know how the game works. Thank you, Kieran. It looks like your big rifle has saved our butts once again. After all you done for me and George, I couldn't just leave you, could I? You guys don't even fucking know how shit works. He doesn't sprint and he doesn't dodge. He doesn't do anything except just walk. And I guess it's better because he's going to become a serial killer. He might be better off dead. Hey, I'm not on their side. Not anymore. Really? To be honest, if you lot didn't show up, I'd whack him right in his ugly bald skull myself. I was literally just about to do it. Really? You would say that now, wouldn't you? <sighs> Give her a break. She really was trying to stop him. I clearly remember her aiming the gun at us not so long ago. But fine. Have it your way, Jenny. The bald fella's still alive. He want maybe he wants to smoke. Trying to see something after a shot like this. What a beast! Let me talk to him. You fucking kill me! No, you're still alive, but you're bleeding out fast. Listen, I'm a nurse. Let me look at your wound. Maybe we can still save you. Thanks, Kibby. Is that all you can say? Uh, just let me fucking die. What about a cigarette? How about a cigarette? You smoke? Yeah. Do you want it? Yes. Please. Hey, this works out perfectly. Why would you not give it to an evil guy that's already dying? <laughs> and that's the bad juju going into him. Angie, you okay? You luck. I'm fine, Jenny. I'm now he has a gig of cancer. Right. Why would I not oh, give yeah. it to Jenny? Because I don't hate her that He's much. He's dead, isn't he? She's just dumb. Oh, this is all fucked up. He killed poor Arno, and and he kicked you. Remember? I'd say he had it coming. But what do we do now? I don't know. Let's lock this place up and forget it ever existed. Oh, I'm sure that would be very convenient for you. Look. I. I know it was wrong to work for this oh, okay. guys, but I'm done with it. No more drugs. Okay. I swear. Hey, that was easy. I'll start a new life. That's all I want. That's what Angie a wants too. Oh wow. Yes. Really? You're right. I only wish Arno could have had a new life too. Why is Arno being fucking weird? Wait. Where is he? He was right there. Wait. And he just. Vanish. Oh my god, he went into the fucking he woods. But didn't he get shot like 20 times? I guess 20 times wasn't he, enough for him. He turned into the spirit of Walter Green. He's fine. He's gonna be a serial killer in the woods now. Oh god. What He's the gone. fuck did he do to the I room? I think we'll ever see him again. But what's all this crap? What was he doing in here? He was changing into someone he A serial killer. Him. Well, that's one way to put it. Personally, <laughs> I'd say he lost his goddamn mind. He kept avoiding us the last few weeks. God, I should have known something was up with him. Yeah, I saw him eat a raw chicken the other day. See? Weird! And you know it. Psycho or not. In the end, he saved us all. I'll be honest. 
I don't know him and I don't care. I don't understand half of what's going on here, but I want to make one thing clear. What happened tonight stays between us, okay? We don't talk about it, we don't think about it. No one will ever find out about the lab and the boys if we keep our mouths shut. So this is gonna let their bodies rot in there? I get my I oh, guess. Definitely. Tomorrow, I'm going back to LA, and I don't <laughs> ever intend to return. This place fucking sucks. Bye. Andy. I'm yeah. gonna write a long Twitter sure. thread and cancel her with all George the details. Guys were just a couple of burglars and, and then boom, her career canceled. But now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'd like to go for a walk. She literally, she also did a lot of drugs. You're done, sweaty. Oh, she quit smoking. Ooh. Or no. Good luck. What? He's going to become a serial killer in the woods? I Hello? That's kind of problematic. What? Wait, quitting cold turkey? That's pretty shit. Smoking kills. In the following days, Angie fully recovered, and her cancer started to feel like a long-gone dream. Quitting cigarettes took some time, she stumbled and fell, but she managed it in the end. To this day, she says the hardest thing she ever done. Whoa! Kieran found someone! Wow! And that's his special shotgun. He met Tressa at a fair and they fell in love. She was a step dancer from New Quay and like him a gun enthusiast. They had a small summer wedding and lived together on the farm. Jenny returned to LA. She forgot about Angie and the farm. She married and divorced twice, starred in three great movies and five terrible ones. She got clean from drugs but never for a while, never managed to shake off her addiction for good. Oh, she's just getting more addicted to drugs. And she overdosed? And it became the hottest topic in the world for a week. And then everybody moved on. <laughs> oh no. Celebrity moment. When Ashley and Jay stay at George's permanent care, Angie didn't hesitate. After all, she had no desire to return to her empty apartment here on the farm. She felt loved. Tale as old as time. Song. So, like, karma caught up with her anyways. Like, come on. In time, Angie will find new friends. And travel to new places. Okay. I'm chilling with George. Right now she's perfectly happily watching old movies, taking long walks, and making tea for quiet nights with her friend George. It surprises her that she feels joy with every breath she takes. And she knows she's been giving a second chance for a good life. And she will not waste it. And this has been your PSA not to smoke. Or do drugs because you will die, girl. I think it's Tatsu Yasuo. Oh! Oh!
I have an appointment tomorrow. What will you do when the wind stops howling and the rain stops pouring and the trees stop falling? Will you still need to run when the lightning's done? Will you get no peace at all? Quit. What is burn house lane uh, endings? Do people even have all the endings? Probably not. Uh, probably have. I don't know. I don't know, whatever. I have to go. I have an appointment. So yeah. Yeah, I'm sure someone will post all the endings eventually. Anyways. Pee pee boo boo. We are ending our transmission.